jumping ahead, we're talking about pistons here. These are my pistons. I did clean them up a bit. Um, hard to see in the camera there. They were pretty sooted, but they've been cleaned. I just soaked them face down in a pie pan of sea foam, and then came with a brass brush, scrubbed it down, and then soaked again and wiped off the deposits. I did that over the course of two days. I probably could have got cleaner, could not have been cleaner. Hard to say. Uh, this is my number one piston. I saw my scratch mark of number one in there. And the number one piston in my and in the service manual is the one by the stator rotor. Uh, you need to use the new clips. I'm going to install these uh, on the one side there. I'm uh, pulling up here just to verify my piston orientation. So I don't say the wrong thing. You need to uh, put engine oil on them. The arrow mark, the stamped in arrow mark, points to the exhaust side, so this piston will go on this direction, arrow, exhaust side. You want to cover the crankcase with some clean rags before you put that clip in because it might shoot out and go places and fall into the case, and you don't want that. And then I'm going to try and put one on here, see how it does, and then I'll show you the next one. might be the most frustrating thing to do so far. <laughs> um, very difficult to get these clips in, at least for me. I think I might have kind of got it figured out at this point. Put the piston on, just point the arrow to the exhaust side, which should be this side here. Um, and you just push, oil it up, and push the wrist pin through. That was no problem at all. And then it came time to the clips. I got that clip in there now. And ultimately what worked for me was I took a tiny needle nose scratch plier. It's a bent nose one too, I don't know if that matters, and I grabbed about here. And then I hooked it down into here. Let me put it in position and I do that around there so the moon is open that way. And then as I pushed, I held my thumb here to compress it. And then I turned this way. And then the recess came and I was able to put the tip of the tool in the recess. And then I held it in place with this pick, pulled the plier away, and then pushed it in with the pick the rest of the way. I know it's not maybe the best description, but that's what's worked for me. And I can't believe i got to do three more of these stupid things. <laughs> you will also want to put your oil squirters back in. I just plug in their uh, O-ring and just plug up in the hole at the same time. But I got them all in there. First one was the hardest, second one went easy, third one was a damned of a thing. And my fourth one I did, not the number, mind you, the fourth one I did, uh, was easy as well. So you kind of get the feel for it, I guess. Glad to say all the number, all the indexing marks that from the factory, all the arrows are pointing forward. Uh, the numbering sequence of my pistons, one, two, three, four, all the same. And the arrows I drew are all the same, so everything is lined up and the same exactly where it once was. This is the cylinder gasket. And it needs to read up facing you. Now if you notice, there is a cutout here for the letters up it's backwards so here it is towards you the up up so this up you need to be able to read it looking down on it so this 3tj stamp white part don't quote me they might put that stamp on other places but it relates to this so this will be the side going up to the cylinders so it will lay down like this with up readable from me looking down at it I now have the cylinder gasket in place and wire tied to the chain to pull through the cylinder. And then I have zip ties and parts of an ice cream pail cut up to use as a ring compressor. Uh, they're cinched up tight. I wanted to get all four prepped because it would be easier to have them all ready to go after, as opposed to just doing the two and then trying to get your hand in there to do the other two after you have the part of the cylinder on.